In this example, we will solve an assorted mix of questions. In part A, evaluate the base 2 logarithm of 1 over 8. In method 1, evaluate algebraically to get the result, negative 3. In method 2, evaluate with change of base to get negative 3. In part b, solve log x minus log of x plus 5 equals 1. Condense using the quotient law in reverse. Convert to exponential form using the 7 rule. Cross multiply. Expand. Collect terms with x on the left side and constants on the right side. Divide both sides by 9 to get x equals negative 50 over 9. We must reject negative 50 over 9 because it would make the original logarithms undefined. There is no solution to this equation. In part c, condense the base 4 logarithm of 8 to the power of x minus the base 4 logarithm of 2 to the power of x. Condense using the quotient law in reverse. Rewrite 8 as 2 cubed. Simplify. Divide the powers and subtract the exponents. Expand using the power law. Now evaluate the logarithm. In method 1, evaluate algebraically. In method 2, evaluate with change of base. Replace the base 4 logarithm of 2 with 1 half. The answer is x. In part d, solve log x squared equals 2 log x. The question will be simpler if we make the substitution a equals log x. Bring all terms to the left side. Factor the binomial. Set each factor equal to 0 and solve. Begin with a equals 0. Replace a with log x. Use the 7 rule to convert to exponential form. The result is x equals 1. Next we have a minus 2 equals 0. This gives us a equals 2. Replace a with log x. Use the 7 rule to convert to exponential form. The result is x equals 100. The values of x are 1 and 100.
In part E, condense the expression shown. Rewrite the expression. The base of the power and logarithmic exponent are the same, so we get a times a. The result is a squared. In part f, evaluate the base 9 logarithm of the base 2 logarithm of 8. Rewrite the expression. Evaluate the inner logarithm, the base 2 logarithm of 8. In method 1, evaluate algebraically. In method 2, evaluate with change of base. Replace the base 2 logarithm of 8 with 3. Now evaluate the base 9 logarithm of 3. In method 1, evaluate algebraically. In method 2, evaluate with change of base. The answer is 1 half. In part G, show that the base 1 half logarithm of 81 equals the base 2 logarithm of 1 over 81. Expand with change of base. Expand with the quotient law. The logarithm of 1 is 0. Simplify. Condense using change of base in reverse. Condense by using the power law in reverse. Write 81 to the power of negative 1 as 1 over 81. In part h, condense the base 2 logarithm of 2x plus 1 plus 1. We need to convert 1 to a base 2 logarithm to continue. The easiest way to do this is to multiply 1 by the base 2 logarithm of 2, a logarithm equivalent to 1. Condense using the product law in reverse. The answer is the base 2 logarithm of 4x plus 2.